Hi guys, so tonight I wanted to talk about Jeffrey. He is now four. Oh my goodness, I have a four year old. I kind of can't believe it. It's kind of crazy to think that four years ago today, May 9th, I gave birth to him and he made me a mom. Um, I must say Jeffrey has become such a big boy over this past year. It has been amazing to watch. I look back at this time last year when we you know, we're just signing him up for preschool. We had just officially gotten the autism diagnosis. It was, I mean, it was a crazy time. I mean, I'm, I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, he was not talking. He really didn't want to play with other people. He would play with Ed and myself, but like, didn't want really anything to do with Robert, really wanted to play by himself. And now he's like this social little butterfly. I mean, we go to the park and he's like right into the group of kids. It's amazing. And he is talking up a storm. Oh my goodness. I mean, to think of the fact that he ha he wasn't talking and now he is like making sentences. It's amazing. It is. I'm going to try not to cry. I'm really going to try. <laughs> um, he has just done so well. We are so, so proud of him. And he is so proud of himself when he figure something out or is able to communicate exactly what he wants. He has the base smile on his face or a word that he's been trying to work on and then it comes out. He, oh, the look on his face is just, you can tell he feels so much better. Um, on that note, because he has, um, finally gotten all the, um, vocabulary out, he is less frustrated. Oh my goodness. This time last year, he, we were still having meltdowns at least once a day sometimes more um we would have at least one meltdown a day sometimes we would have just constant meltdowns and now i mean we're having normal meltdowns like we're upset because we are told no and we have to go to time out um very minimal sensory overloads anymore um we really don't have meltdowns for that i mean if we have one meltdown a week i might be exaggerating on that to be honest i really can't remember the last time we had a meltdown over something that was I would say not like to be autism related I guess is the word I want to use I'm a little tired too so <laughs> but I wanted to film this before you know it got too late but um yeah I mean he's really just having he's getting upset over normal things like we have to leave somewhere or we you know it's time for bed or you know you can't do that because it's you know gonna break something not really because he can't figure out what he wants or can't communicate what he wants which is what most of the meltdowns were before um as for his personality he is hilarious he like does things to make you laugh and it is so so funny he is such a funny little kid and he is so loving he finally is saying love you and is ugh. and he said it to my husband one night he was the first one he said love you too and he was we were Skyping because, you know, Ed's been working, you know, um, out of town during the week. And he actually said, you know, he repeated, I love you back to Ed. And it was oh, it's a magical moment. I was like crying. I really, I'm going to try not to cry. But anyways, um, other things, Jeffrey still, he still loves cars. He, if he finds a toy that he likes, he like shows you and he wants it. And we took him to Toys R Us a couple weeks or probably like a month or so ago now and we let them pick out what they wanted um they had a couple gift cards for their birthdays so we let them go and I was amazed at what Jeffrey picked out and like the toys he picked out he's still playing with today like any other time that we had gone to Toys R Us he would pick out something or we'd sway them to pick something you know because they can't make up their mind and then like they play for like a couple days and then it's you know we don't want it anymore he plays with these toys every day it's like he knows what he wants he knows how to use the toy it's amazing I am like it, it's it's just such a difference from three to four and I can see it because even you know with Robert being three now like so I have a three-year-old and now I have a four-year-old and it's like oh my god can I get Robert to four because four is a little easier <laughs> even though you know Jeffrey's just four um just what a change such a big boy he's so independent um and it's just, it's awesome. And I can definitely tell he's going through a growth spurt right now because he is eating constantly. I mean, I can't like get enough food into that child. It's amazing. I just, ugh. 
I probably have said amazing like way too many times in this video in the last five minutes. So, um, but yeah, I, we're just so, so proud of him. He's such a big boy. Um, I don't actually know how big he is, um, but yeah, because he's going, oh, Robert's crying. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor thing. But, um, yeah, I don't know how big he does have his appointment this week, his four-year checkup. Um, so I will find out. And I will, um, what I'll do is I'll put it in the description below after I go. Because I think I'll post this before we go. Um, but I will put it in there how big he is. But, um, I know the last time we went to the doctors for... He was sick. I think it was an ear infection is what we went for. He was like 33 pounds and I want to say he's gotten bigger. Um, I'm interested to see how tall he is because he has grown so much. Um, but he has such a personality. He's still, like I said, he loves cars. He loves his tablet. He like can play games on there like I, nobody's business. Um, loves YouTube. I have noticed that he uses YouTube to figure out how to play, how to play with his toys. Like he was watching, um, what's the what's the toy called oh the hot wheels ultimate garage which we got for christmas and he was very very frustrated with that i actually ended up putting it in the closet for a while and then i was watching him you know watching what he was watching on youtube and i'm like oh my god he's looking at how to play with this toy so i pulled the toy out oh my gosh like playing for hours it is you know like at times i get frustrated with youtube like some of the silly things that they watch and then i'm like they watch stuff like that and it's like Oh my gosh, he can play with everything. Like, I didn't even know some of the little things that this um, garage could do. And, like, he showed me. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't even know that's how it worked. Um, so, they, kids are a lot smarter than I give them credit for sometimes. But he is so great. Like I said, he's loving. He is just amazing. I am so proud of the little man he's becoming. Um, and, yeah, so that's all for Jeffrey for now. Because, like I said, I'm going to do an IEP update on him but yeah that's all for jeffrey for now so i'll see you all next time